Hello everyone, welcome to the video of today. This is Beyond the Truth. Today we are going to be talking about graceful art or a voyeuristic pastime. Whatever happened to the most graceful art form of them all, the thing that made audiences gasp and hearts flutter all over the world, the thing that filled the front pages of every single paper out there and its stars were regulars in the gossip column. You know that I'm talking about ballet, because the title kinda gave it away. Long gone are the days when the ballet dancers were one of the biggest stars in the world, when no big movie premiere or gala dinner could be imagined without the legs of Margot Fontaine, Galina Ulanova, and Václav Nijinsky being present, or the reporters following their every waking move, or the amount of coverage, the defections of Mikhail Varshnikov and Rudolf Nureyev got in the media at the time. I am one of those very few strange people that actually enjoys watching those old black and white documentaries from the 50s and 60s that TV stations run in the dead air of night as spot fillers. And that's how I know the great names of ballet and their stories. But ask yourselves the following. When was the last time you saw any news about a ballet dancer in the media, or a red carpet interview, or a chat show appearance. And I'm sure that not many of you know who the prima ballerina at the Bolshoi is, or the Met, or the Garnier for that matter. Well I for one haven't the slightest. What is the reason for the fall in popularity of ballet since the 60s? Could it be that its very draw to the masses was that it fulfilled a need which was, let's say, of a more voyeuristic nature? You need to bear with me a little on this one. I'm not trying to be vulgar without a reason, I'm just exploring outside the box. The golden age of ballet was the 19th century, not a very fulfilling age for your average voyeur, with the women's fashion being such as it was with all those long, puffy, multi-layered dresses and all. And here comes ballet with all the young, scantily dressed girls with their finely shaped physique. Ballet never really gained much traction among the working classes probably because the average Joe most likely preferred the local cat house to a bunch of girls doing a silly jump dance on stage. But that was not something that the cultured high society men could do. And let's not forget all the ladies. Many drawing rooms of the times must have been awash with their giggling over the male dancer's bulge. It was all fine and well until the sex sells attitude penetrated all facets of our existence. And ballet has been on a downward spiral since the 60s. We live in a culture where everything around us is pumped up with sexuality. From commercials, movies, shows, to music videos, and all the possibilities the internet offers us. Our inner voyeur is well satisfied. I guess ballet simply became superfluous. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you guys in the next one.